Have you had any uh, serious injuries as a result of surfing? Yeah, I've had some some wild ones, man. I've had. What's uh, your worst one? Um, I had 15 stitches on my face here from uh, um, a fin caught me. A uh, fin? Yeah, one of my fins. So oh, fin. I fin actually like tried to, to to block my boards from being smashing on the mm. beach, and it just caught me the right away and split my whole face open. My chin, my my cheek was exposed. And, yeah, I came up the beach and I just blood all over me. And oh, I said man. to my wife, I'm like, am I, ble- am I bleeding? And she's like, dude, we have to go to the hospital right now. So it was, it was bad. And then uh, I broke my ankle. I shattered it about two years ago. And that took forever to recover. We had uh, Hurricane Hannah. And I, I did not want to miss it because I broke it three days or five days before. And I duct taped it up. And I surfed the whole built the whole swell through it uh-huh. and it was I actually had some cool pictures from it because you see like halfway up my leg yeah. I had all duct tape over it oh, man. and uh, guys I, I was running up and down the beach with a cast on and people were like dude <laughs> are you absolutely nuts I'm like, no, that's there's awesome. no way I was missing the swell there's no way I waited forever for it that's great and then how much easier to, is it and how much more confidence does it give you now that you're completely healthy oh it's like, great you know? man it's absolutely phenomenal I still feel a little tweak in it every now and then but uh, we've been working through it really hard to get that all taken care of and uh it's definitely definitely it's great that's phenomenal very very nice um how would you describe your style of surfing um i have a hybrid of different people have told me i definitely have like a lot of power Mm -hmm. but i'm for a bigger guy i'm 6'1 185 pounds so most guys that are a little bit bigger don't have the uh, agility i would say Mm -hmm. but the new guys coming up jordy smith and dane and Prior to them, there really was no big guys. So I'm kind of, I wouldn't consider myself on their level, but I'm definitely one of those fast, powerful kind of. Now, is there like a difference in the type of competition depending on your style? Or like, like how does it go? Like, are there, what, describe like the points that you get, like how, how, you're, how you're scored by the judges. Well, you're scored on the actual, I guess I would say, complexity of the ride. The more vertical that you hit the lip, the more complicated it is to land and maneuvers um it, it, that's the way they're doing it they're actually judging a lot the judges are doing a lot more of i would say um, higher performance as opposed to doing three like good turns they want a variety um, and the maneuvers have to be a lot more critical in the critical sections of the wave so you're getting a, a lot higher scores nowadays than just doing three roundhouse cutbacks which is the, right. the old school method Wow. And how many runs do you get, like per? Well, heats. You do heats. Oh, okay. You get scored on your top two <clears throat> waves. You got, a, your, you got uh, a max. You get a max of ten waves. So you, you have to pick and choose your proper waves. Usually the, the heats are between twenty and thirty minutes, depending on what what uh, league you're doing at that time. Nice. When you're like, you're an athlete and you're preparing for an event, and like everybody gets like tired or like you get that wall you know yeah what what is your inspiration where what where do you draw from to get over that hump and like the day that you don't want to get up and and go surf for a couple hours but you know you have to what do you think about what do you listen to to, to music do you movies books like what <laughs> what is your you i got some funny ones man I, i'd say like um uh, i don't know i don't even want to say but no, like, like definitely like conan the barbarian is one of them Love so, conan since, the I barbarian. Little, since i was a little kid man i was like he was definitely one of them. i know it's a fictitious character it's not real no he's real to me but to me it's it's a motivator um rocky is rocky. another one and actually kelly slater too man because like a lot of his things like he was he fell from everything which who's you know world he's a champion of surfing but uh, if you ever look and get a chance to watch some of his his movies, let it letting go is probably it's such an inspiration. I, I really I, I actually got to meet him at Surf Club in uh, Seaside in Ortley, and he, really? he he did his his uh, autobiography kind of movie, and it and it was really moving. It was really inspirational. So that's definitely one of them. That's cool. Man. Um, what is your favorite pump up song? Um, man, I got a lot. I definitely got a lot. I'm a metal guy, so I love I love heavy stuff. Yeah. Heavy, heavy. Lamb of God, Revenge Sevenfold. Yes. Craziness. Yeah, the the faster, the heavier, the more aggressive. I love it. That, yeah. That's my gig, man. I played thrash metal my whole life, so being a drummer 
So yeah, that's cool. like that's my gig. All right. Well, what, what's your favorite thing to do when you're not surfing? Like, what's your? Um, I play drums. I train. Well, that's right. Yeah, Dennis was telling me about your drums. Yeah, I did it for a, I did it for a living for a while, man. I really? Just, yeah, I got to be on MTV and. Really? Yeah, nice. Bangers Ball. My band was. We, oh wow. We toured with a lot of famous acts, and it was. That's what kept me back from the competition. Every time I'd start gearing up and get ready to go, I had to leave for tour. Oh, wow. So it was, you know, but it was a good thing. You know? Yeah. Oh, I can't complain. Tour, right. tour was a blast. <laughs> Too much fun, actually. <laughs> Multifaceted Billy Pappenberg. Yeah. Also, you can check out his website at www.billypappenberg.com. Uh, the link is on the Martyr website, martyrclothingco.com. Um, just a couple more questions for you. Okay. Um, if you could have dinner with one person, dead or alive, who would it be? Wow. Three, two. I don't know. And pass, pass on that. Oh, for one. Favorite TV show? <laughs> Favorite TV show? I like uh, Modern Family. It's pretty funny. That's Modern a new Family. one. Yeah, it makes me laugh. Would you rather win a gold medal in surfing or a million dollars for surfing? Mm, neither. What would you? What do you? What do you mean? I I wouldn't want a gold medal because there is none. And you would want a million dollars because would, because I would want to win it. No, win it. That's what oh, I mean. Oh, yeah, win it. Yeah. So you'd rather win a million dollars than a gold medal. Yeah. Let's say surfing was an Olympic sport. Oh, if it was an Olympic sport? Yeah, I'd take the million. You'd take the million? Yeah. Okay. Sushi or pizza? Sushi. 300 or the Gladiator? Gladiator. Megan Fox or Brooklyn, Brooklyn Decker? I don't know who Brooklyn Decker is, so I'd say Megan Fox. Thank you, Billy. All right, it's been man. a pleasure, man. Right Good on. luck with everything. Thanks, bro. Again, BillyPappenberg.com. You can find the link at martyrclothingco.com, and we'll see you next time.